SimplePIM is a unique PIM tool for transforming the IFC models you get from the other parties to fit for your purpose. In other words, a tool to clean up, standardize and enrich OpenPIM IFC models. Sounds very abstract and complex, but no, in reality most of what you can do with SimplePIM is very practical and easy. You'll see. My name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome! In this tutorial you will learn the basics to get quickly started with SimplePIM and to get a feel about the basic SimplePIM workflow. So let's get started. You have an IOC model. The goal in this tutorial is to import it to SimplePIM, clean up and trim the model and then export the end result back to IFC. First, open SimplePIM. Select the IFC import tile from the startup canvas. Click on the import IFC without templates, browse to your model, select it and click open. The model is now imported to SimplePIM and the trimmer workspace is opened. Here you have the basic tools, 3D window, objects, containment and properties palette. The ribbon has a lot of tools and functions, 3D window has its own ribbon, other palettes have functions in their menus and context menus. We'll come back to all of these in other tutorials. You navigate to 3D basically as in any other IFC viewer nowadays. Rotate with the left mouse button, zoom by scrolling the mouse wheel, pan with the mouse wheel or the middle mouse button, zoom to fit either here in the context menu or here in the stage bar. The trimmer has three viewports or buckets as we call them. This is a whistle and fun way to select what objects you want to include to your IFC export. In other words, to filter the model to create a trimmed and cleaned up submodel. Everything that is in the included bucket will be exported. Everything in the excluded will not. As long as everything is in the not decided yet bucket, everything gets exported. Now I will show you a few easy ways to select objects for the export. There are other ways, but we'll come back to those in other tutorials. Let's start with the easy one. Simply drag and drop walls from the object palette to the included bucket. In other words, select the walls with the left mouse button. Keep the button pressed while tracking the cursor to the included bucket. And release the button. And there you have it. You are ready to export the model. Click export to IFC. Give the file a name and click save. That wasn't so complex and abstract, was it? You could now import the exported model to some other IFC tool or back to SimplePIM. For example like this. There's a shortcut here in the recent files in the application menu. The exported model is imported back to SimplePIM. Can you see it? Only the relevant objects you selected are in the model. And you know, the file size is of course much smaller. Another way to filter the model is using the properties palette. Select for example the walls from the object palette. The wall properties are now shown in the properties palette. Note that in this case it's not just data for one wall, but all of them. And because of this you could select a value which now presents multiple walls. Say all the exterior walls. And drag and drop them to the included bucket. Let's undo that for now and do the selection yet another way. You could also use the containment palette for trimming. Drag and drop a building story to the included bucket and all the building elements in that story gets exported. As you can see, drag and drop is a very common way of working in SimplePIM. You could even select objects from the 3D. Simply hover over an object, press the left mouse button down, wait for half a second, Otherwise you rotate the model and then drag. But we'll look deeper into the 3D window and selecting in other tutorials. For now, this was a quick start tutorial to SimplePIM. You learned how to import an IVC model to SimplePIM, how to browse the model content and how to do a simple trim. And finally, how to export the end result back to IFC. In other words, the basic SimplePIM workflow. This can already be valuable but it's only scratching the surface on what you can do with SimpleBIM. See the other tutorials to learn more about the other possibilities. Normalizing data, adding your own properties to the model, merging models, classifying building elements, 
calculating quantities, defining locations, moving and rotating the models, or even exporting data to your Excel calculations with PIMP Sheet Palette, manually or automatically, just to name few. For now, thank you for watching. See you next time.